I think we've read this one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did. Right. Okay, cool. I could, I, you know, you watching at home or wherever the hell you are, where where do you watch our videos? Uh, Probably in uh, the sewers. God, all those sewer people. Like, like uh, you, ju- you just actively, like, I heard you going to go read the augmented, like, we were about to read the augmented eye, and you were at home in your sewer town going like, no, you did that last episode! Or we're completely wrong, and you're like, ah, you didn't do that last episode! Well, like, comment, subscribe if we did or did not do that last episode. Good evening. Huh? I didn't expect you today. I was waiting for you to call and say you wouldn't be coming or something. Things at the Apollo Bank are getting ugly, so that means more people will be looking for a drink. (sighs) You can take a break, you know. You're quite the hard worker. And the streets are not exactly safe right now. They've never been when you get down to it. And besides, I can't afford to not come with the bar closing soon. I wonder if any bar has used impending closure as a means of getting their employees to work. Seems like the total opposite would happen. Not to mention, I get bored out of my brains in my apartment, so I'd rather come here anyway. What did you say? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa! Whoa. I accidentally just hit the scroll wheel because I was trying to dynamically adjust my microphone. Wow, well now we can check uh, previous dialogues. That's actually really cool. That is pretty cool. Okay. We can go back and, like, if, if there's a puzzle that we're trying to solve, we can actually, like, go just go back and solve it instead of fucking in, in the, dicking around in the dark like blind, blind puppies. Uh, dicking around the, in the dark, by the way, is the name of my new autobiography coming out this fall. Oh, that's, yep. I've read it. It's thrilling. <laughs> oh, Gil isn't back yet? No. <laughs> nope. I wouldn't worry too much about him, though. If you say so. That girl's still here? Yep, she was sleeping so peacefully, I felt bad about waking her up. So, would you mind doing that for me? Actually, yes, I do mind. But you're the boss, and it's kind of my fault she's in here in the first place. Is it? Sorry about that. Hey, young lady, sleep another hour or start, have to charge in you a motel fee. Are you sure uh, Jill's not that, drunk? Um, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Uh, oh, streaming Chan. Uh, hmm? Where am I? Oh, right. Oh, the shoddy downtown bar. Let's see. All my gear is in place. And neither my pants nor my... Oh, panties, shirt, or bra have been displaced. Oh, it's the flat bartender. Good morning. Wow, she's just an unpleasant person to talk to. Good evening. Evening? Oh, well, it's the best night or day of sleep I've had in quite some time. Sorry for all the trouble I may have caused you today or last night. D- don't worry. You're so nice, flat bartender. Thanks for taking care of me. Bye. Oh, uh. thank, thank God she's gone. Hello, guys and gals. Streaming Chan's back in action with her batteries reloaded. Ah, oh, the moon! It burns! I feel like I've just unleashed something terrible onto the world. Come on, it's not that bad. It is, though. It kind of is. <laughs> Say, what's this bottle? A client gave it to me yesterday. A gift of sorts, I'm guessing. Oh, cool. It's some sort of rum. Rum? Nice. Want me to serve you a bit of it? <gasps> mm. We're gonna learn yeah, about sure. Dana. <gasps> Let's give Boss some rum. Go to the bottle drinks tab and drag it to the shaker before mixing. Huh. It's grandpa booze. Is that bottle set? Oh. Okay, I guess we just So mix. mix? <laughs> we've, we've done it. We now have rum. Okay. All right. That was easy. Here. All right. I'm going to enjoy this in my office. Thanks. Damn it. Anytime. Wow. That was like... Like, a little bit of a teasing moment. It was. Okay, then. All right. So what what do we what do? We do? I have apparently already forgotten how this incredibly simple system works. Yeah, you sure have. Uh, I don't know. Let's go from the back or something. Okay. Apparently, this game is like 20 nights or something like that. What? 
I don't know. That's what. How many nights? How how many nights have we even done? Like five? Uh, something like that. God, time to serve mix and change lives. Wait, that's not how it goes. Uh. uh no one here to retort. Are we gonna have a quiet night? Man, it feels lonely without Gil here. I just hope the restlessness in the streets doesn't lead to dangerous or weird types coming in here. Jill, why did you say that? Oh, good evening. Holy shit, that was a record-breaking jinx. W welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? I'll have a blue fairy. Don't make a joke about becoming real. Don't make a joke about becoming real. <laughs> On it. <laughs> it's just a brain in a Let's fucking jar. Let's give this... Um, brain, a blue fairy. One, two, that's a brain. All right, how much optional karma Just dream? a little bit. Uh, yeah, because I assume that if we give it even a little bit, it's going to get incredibly drunk. Yeah, it is a brain. That That's not a little bit, Tony. I, Tony! I Tony! Don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god, all aged and mixed. Okay. Christ. Here you go. Nice. Yeah, this is the thing. So, um, how are you gonna... Oh, you can grab stuff. Should have figured as much. You can drink stuff? And eat. I have the same system Leelum do. Can I ask you something, um... Er... Miss... Call me Taylor. Just Taylor. And yes, a cutie like you can ask me anything. Oh, wow. Are we about to get hit on by a brain? <laughs> okay, Taylor. You have to be the first person I've met that didn't go, okay, just Taylor. Nah, too easy. You are a brain in a jar, right? I'm sure not a hologram of that, I'm sure. Yep, I'm a bona fide human brain in a jar. So, how? Why? What? Does my handsomeness make you speechless? You hear not something a girl sees every day, and that's saying quite a bit in these parts. It really is. Fear not, for I have a speech prepared for these situations. A speech? You're seeing one of the five great living bottled brains of the world. We are brains living in conditions that allow us to exist as any other humanoid creature. All while computers in our jars scan our activities. In a slow but steady manner, we are helping the world understand the inner workings of nature's most complex computer. I'm guessing you prepared that after being asked the same question too many times, huh? That's kind of real. <laughs> Not have exasperation or anything like that, mind you. I just wanted to have something thoughtful prepared. Look, I even have a couple of pamphlets with me. You want one? Sure. What brings one of our world's five brains and jars to this place tonight? That's a great question. Oh, I'm from around here, actually. I just wanted to take a walk for the first time in quite a bit of time. Have you come here before? Sadly, no. Otherwise, I'd remember a cute face like yours. Wow. Speaking of which, can I have your name? Um, it's Jill. Jill? That's a really cute name. Later on, Thick Taylor. Thank you. Say, weren't you scared of going outside today? What with the commotion around and all? It didn't stop you from coming here either, did it? Yeah, you're right. It's gonna take more than cryptic but ominous news to stop me. You're awfully energetic. Did you know that? Sorry, does that bother you? No, not at all. Just that I figured a brain in a jar wouldn't be so... happy. While I was alive, my body got to a point where there wasn't much I could do. This new state of existence allows me to accomplish more than I ever could before. Plus, I'm doing something that'll help people in the long run. Wouldn't you be happy? I wonder. Do you want to make me happy, Jill? Oh. Uh, it depends on what it takes. Don't worry, just give me a beer. Alright, then yeah, I'll make you happy. Uh, this, this, this brain's kind of freaking yeah, me out a little bit. brain is kind of weirding me out. Like, like I don't know, no, I, not, like, I have nothing against people who are literally just living, walking, talking brains. Yeah. But like, 
but I kind of do. Should we make it big? No, just mix it. <sighs> okay. Yeah, all right. Here. By the way, a beer. Mal, have we talked about how there are like apparently multiple endings to this game? Yes, you mentioned it once, and I was like, oh god. Okay. And that's it. God, we probably did that like last episode or something. Nah, it was a few episodes ago. Okay, thank God. Anytime we record like with a distance between like sessions, I'm like, I'm like, wait a second. Did I say this like two and a half weeks ago? Oh no. <laughs> That's, shit, did I make the same joke last episode? Oh God. And the answer is always yes. Oh. Ah, yes. No matter what happens, beer is always good. It's interesting though. Just yesterday I was talking to a client about brain uploads. You were? Yeah. We were talking about how even if you upload your brain, you'd still be here. I've thought about that too. Do you think the you in the cybernetic environment would feel like she was indeed transferred? Like, would she remember everything? Like waking up someplace else and so on? Hmm. That's an interesting question. I was actually thinking earlier about being able to transfer someone's brain into a Lelim. One of the brains is being used in such an experiment, actually. They can make a functional Lelum. Unfortunately, the wiring and other such stuff makes it look more creepy than anything. They aren't transferring his identity or anything, though. Just wiring him to a body. Oh. You'd think someone would rather do that than float around exposed in a jar. I have to admit, the whole brain thing does look creepy. But the body I'm telling you about is just uncanny looking. Speaking of uncanny, how did you feel when you saw yourself like this for the first time? It was quite a shock, actually. It didn't last too long, though. I never was too attached to my body. Later in my life, that was almost literal. You know what the downside to this body is? I can't get drunk. If you want to call that a downside... If you wanted to drink alcohol for the taste, there are many alternatives. Drunkenness is part of the whole experience. Why though? Leland can get drunk with no problem. Yeah, but in their case, their brain's a computer attached to their body. Getting drunk causes their brains to reduce the input speed to their bodies. Depending on the model, their drunk subroutine might throw in a different behavioral cycle even. It's hard to get drunk when the whole point of you being in a jar is figuring out exactly how you work. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. I don't, I don't know who yellowish orange is. Yeah, me neither. Hey, Jill! Oh, Alma. Oh, it's Alma. What was Alma's voice like? I don't know. Okay. I feel like it was like just kind of a general high-pitched voice. Yeah, maybe. All right. Just, oh, Alma? Where's the courtesy one we expect from the plebeian bar staff? Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Happy? Not when you put it that way. Why, hello there, beautiful. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> you hurt my feelings with that, darling. S -s Sorry, you don't see talking disembodied brains every day. I mean, I did work a summer in, summer in Leela maintenance, but even then, those were talking heads. Oh, don't worry about it. At least you're not running or fainting. Oh, your name was Alma, right? I'm Taylor. N nice to meet you, Taylor. Say, Alma, can I buy you a drink? Uh, sorry, I only date people who are at least 50% organic and have at least one face. Hmm. I know just what to strive for then. Oh. Just kidding. It'd make me happy to make you happy by buying you a drink. Does that bother you? I guess if Jill's the bartender, I don't have a problem with that. Awesome. I'll pay for your next drink then. Oh, look, the steam thing that keeps popping up. Hooray. What will you have? I'll have a cobalt velvet. And you, Taylor? I'm fine, actually. You're gonna have me drink alone? I don't want to drink that much. Okay, then. Mm, a little odd. It's yeah. a little odd, but that's all right. Yeah. Also, my my Taylor voice is quickly evolving to like a, like the owl from the Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon movie. What? Like a, ooh, Sonic! Oh, like, no. What, what Sonic. are you doing? 
<laughs> no, no, that's that's uh, that's Owl Tales. My uh, <laughs> uh-huh. my uh, your your um persona. Very very favorite and secret OC. God, wait, how many did did there? Five. Uh-huh. Rocks and mixed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. I like that. That was a good glass. That was a cool glass. Your drink. Hope you enjoy it. You know, you've been nicer to me these past minutes than at least three guys have been in the last year. Judging from the way you two talk, I'm guessing you've been a client here for a while now, right? Only for about half a year or so, if my memory serves right. Really? One would think it's been longer. Really? <sighs> it feels like it's been longer. Jill, you're so mean to Alma, and I don't know why. <laughs> like, why is Jill so mean to Alma? Uh, she might not be being mean to Alma. She might just be teasing Alma. I guess. I don't know. Shut up. You love me, and you know it. So you just started coming here, and that was it? Well, the first time I came here, the other guy... Uh, speaking of which, where's Pablo? Gillian. Archimedes? Don't know. Adventuring or something. Anyways, the other guy served me the first time I came here. Not the unusual there. The next time I showed up, Jill here was the one serving in. I don't know. I feel like she just gets me. There's this chemistry. We click. We click, she says. Why is Jill so mean? <laughs> the fact that I feel more chemistry with her than with many other people is kind of sad, though. Date. It's always good to see a nice friendship. Date. Sadly, it's getting late, and I've got to go. I'll leave you two lovely ladies alone. See ya. Bye. Please come again. That tailor sure was nice. A bit weird at first, though. Apparently one of five brains being studied by scientists or something. There's a summary of it in this pamphlet? Uh, let's see... Oh yeah, I've heard of them before. Can't believe I actually met one. Say Alma, how many people are there in your family? Just curious. Well, a weird as- transition. <laughs> that is a weird transition. Well, aside from my mom and dad, we're five si- sorry, four sisters and one brother. Trans. Yeah. <laughs> Funnily enough, we all have names that start with the first five layers in the alphabet. So you're the eldest one? No, I'm actually the middle kid. You're the middle kid, but your name starts with an A? Don't think too much about it. I never said the order reflected our ages. My sister Carlotta is the eldest one. Then there's Diana, just before me. Then comes Eva, and at the bottom lies Belle... <clears throat> Sorry, the youngest one is Bernardo. Bernardo. You've never been alone, I'm guessing. Can't complain about that, I guess. It helps that we were never five in the same house. By the way... Evita and Bernie were born. By the time? Oh, shit. (laughs) Oh, no. By the time Evita and Bernie were born, Diana and Carlotta had already moved. Speaking of family, today I came because I needed a break from everything that's been going on with them. Do you live with them? No, but Evita and Bernie do. Not to mention I visit them almost every day. Damn. Anyway, my second eldest sister, Diana, just separated from her husband. It's not even been a week, but she's already got some other guy in her bed. She left her kid with her husband's parents and pretty much forgot about them. Holy shit. Never mind the fact that they need to go to school and all that. Damn. Diana's life has always been messy, but these days she's really making it big. She wants time for herself to live her life. She didn't think about that when she married the guy at 20. She didn't think about that when marrying a guy she had only known for like three months. You should take your own advice. Hey, I'd never marry someone who could catch my attention so quickly, okay? Sure, there was that one time when it almost happened, but I blame the damn stadium kiss cam. Kiss cam? I was going out with a guy my little sister introduced to me. See, (laughs) seems he was her friend's brother or something. We went out a couple of times and he invited me to a basketball game. The mood was nice, but then later, the kiss cam focused on us, and instead of kissing me, he proposed. I almost got caught in the mood and accepted. Huh. So I take it you rejected him in a stadium on the fucking kiss cam. We went out for like three weeks. I don't know. Maybe he wanted to get my pants with the old sex on the wedding night line. But I honest to God can't understand why he thought it would be a good idea. 
That sounds too convoluted, you know? Proposing and waiting for the wedding night just for sex? Never underestimate the lengths a man is willing to go to get you in their bed. That's true. I've seen more convoluted plots over the years. I'm feeling tempted to ask, but I'll pass. Want anything else? Hmm? What's that bottle? Oh yeah, it's just some rum a client gave me yesterday. A gift? What did you do? A good enough service, I'm guessing. Ka... <laughs> what? ka si I don't huh. know. Huh. Interesting name. What does it mean? Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Yeah. Uh, Kasik's the name of the chieftain in some native tribes. I see. Do you want me to serve you some of this? I'll pass. I don't have too many good memories where rum's involved. Give me a fringe weaver instead, will you? All right. Hmm. Wonder what's up with her and rum. But anyways, let's just give her a fringe weaver. And let's go check out the next episode of Valhalla. So. <laughs> Oh, wow, yeah, I, that feeling that Mal just evoked, I want you to feel that in your gut. Uh-huh. And then think fond thoughts of us. Yes. Oh. Uh, if, you, <laughs> if you enjoyed... Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button. Uh, we also have a Patreon. You should go check it out in the end card or in the video description. We really appreciate the support. Bye. Uh, bye. Oh, I knew it was coming.